Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Sarah here. So today we are going to make this pocket. Um, so we've got two little pockets here. And we've got a little secret pocket here and one on the back. And we're using um, a book page that we've taken out as a whole and we've just decorated it and um, that's what we're going to do today. So I have got a book page ready and as you can see I've just taken it out whole. That's really easy to do. You go into your um, book. I'll show you what I did quickly. Oh. So you go into a book, you find the middle of a signature, so it'll be that one there, you can... and you'll see the strings and you just cut the strings and then pull the, book out, uh, the pages out as they are. So that's really, really easy to do. So this is a really old book um, uh, from the 30s, I think. Um, and so we need to strengthen it slightly because if we're going to put it in journal and punch holes for it, it needs to be um, secure. But what we're going to do first is we're going to make the pockets. So we literally just want to turn in where you can and... Make sure it's even. Just fold this little bit over first. And that just reinforces it when we bring it up to make our pocket. Like so. And that just means that this bit is far more um, secure. So we've done that. I'll get my bone folder. Ooh using my pens and we're just going to make sure that that is lovely and secure which uh, not secure sorry burnished which is what it is so now we want to um, make sure that this bit is going to be fine now I'm only going to take it down to here where our fold line is um, with some paper because it just might make it a bit too thick when you fold that over and I'm going to put some washi or something on this bit to reinforce it so I've got bits of music paper here now that is going to be long enough Yes, it is. And you don't need it hugely wide, probably just as wide as that. Now, I did use a trimmer on mine, but you can just tear it if you prefer that look. And I think this time I'm just going to tear it. Find my crease. I want this side torn, so I'm just going to tear this. And that's fine, and I'm going to stick that down with some glue stick. Way slightly Ooh. hold on to that whoops more haste less speed shall we be a bit better wouldn't it let's grab that 
find my section there. And we're just going to glue that down and I can cut that bit off. So that's all stuck down. So when that comes up, that's fine. And then we're going to do the same thing here. So that slides a bit. So I've got another piece here, the right way up. So we'll have it over the edge a bit. So we want to tear that round about there. What do you think? Or should that go like that? I think I'm going to have that side. So, get my glue stick. Scissors. And we're just going to cut the excess off like that. So we've now got our spine reinforced and that will be fine so we now want to refold our book like so there we go so we've now got our crease back in there and now we just need to glue these two side bits so I'm going to use my glue for this so and actually you may just want to glue this little bit down first so I'm just going to use my glue stick for this Now, I'm going to put the lid on that and we're just going to glue or attempt to. Okay, that's clearly Where is my, oh gosh, I can't remember where I've put it. Where is my pins on block this? Or maybe it's just the, bear with me guys, I will be right back. Hello guys, back. So glue is now unclogged. So I'm just going to, 
put a bit here. And a little bit, I can't see it there. Like so. And actually a bit in the middle. So we've now got the two pockets and I've just got a little bit of washi tape here just to put down here just to make things a bit interesting as well as reinforcing it. So I'm going to get my little scissors and just cut that in a straight line. And I'm actually going to put some glue onto this because I want it to stay secure. So let's just put a little bit of glue on here. And just turn it around. There we go. Just going to cut that end bit off. And now we've got that bit secured. I'm just going to fold that over again. Just make sure. And just cut that. So it's nice and straight. There we go. So that um, is the basis, and then all we do is we just fold this, and we want to make it. Ooh, it's not stuck there. Bear in mind you've got the pocket, so you want it to be as straight as possible. So we do that side and then we try and line it up best we can with that side. There we go. And so we are now just going to glue along that bit there. So this bit here and that creates just a little tuck spot in there. So hopefully my glue is still working. There's the fold, there it is. And we put that there. Glue that down. We do the same with this side. And then we've got our two little pockets, so I'm just going to put the lid on that. So that is it, that is how simple it is to do, and it's just now a case of decorating it. Up. Now if I bring my other one in, so I've put some lace round here and it just looks like it hides that secret little pocket there I think. So um, you don't have to, you can decorate this however you want. And then I've just done a little bit of collaging underneath it. 
and then I have on the bottom of the pockets or sorry on the pockets on this side because the writing is upside down you can see there's a bit of writing but you're not going to notice it because you've done a bit of collage so um and again on the back with some stickers so we can now decorate this so i am thinking uh i'm probably going to do pretty much the same as before so i'm going to just grab some lace if i can Let's see if I can find it. That same one, maybe something different. Let's just grab it. I hope I've still got some of that because I really do like it. have a look at those so let me move the paper out of the way so what do you think or I have this one which is lovely Do you like that? Which is the right way. I think that's the right way. I'm really liking this one, I think. So let's get the right end. Oh, everything is such a mess. And it's that way. So I think, yes. I do like that. And how did I do that one? I did that first, did I? How did I do this side first? I don't think it really matters. As long as it's at the top. And I'm going to cut that. Small scissors would be a bit more helpful, wouldn't they? Do you know what? I'm going to glue it and then cut it. I think that's the best option. I think my glue's got a slight issue. There we go. So let's on a bit of glue. Oh, it does have a slight issue. I don't know why this glue never clogs. But of course it is today. Hang on. Let's take the lid off and do it from the other side shall we and see what's going on it's just all right let's try it now Wow. 
well. Never had a problem with this bottle at all, so I'm really not sure why it's not liking me today. Oh, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. I think I've sorted it. Thank goodness. So, I'm going to pop that on there. Hold that down. And, get my scissors. Along there and down there. There we go. And then we can do, let's make that straight. That's a bit better. And then I'm going to go over the top like that. So whoops, there we go. Get the right side. Is that the right side? I don't actually now I don't think it really matters. And we're just going to pop that on there, hold it down for a minute, and we'll cut that up there, and up there, and we've got our little tuck spot in there, like so. So we're just going to do this side. coming out the front and centre, of course it is. I'm going to get rid of that, put the lid on it. We're going to do the same thing there. So we can put that on there and then just hold that down. Try and get it straight, Sarah. And then just give it a little cut there. And then grab this side. We'll put a bit of extra glue on here, don't we? Just to make sure. And then we'll just stick oops, that down. Like that, let that hold for a second. And then we can cut that off. That off down there. And that off there. And there we have our trim on our pockets. So let me just clear this. I'm getting in my state. So let me just move these out of the way. As I can see, I'm getting into some sort of issue with that. So now it's decorating. I've got a bit there I need to get rid of. we go. Um, so, bits, 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 that's what we want. So, I have got 
Let me just get what I need. Let's give it those two. Pop the lid on that. And I don't need those. So I've got my storage that has got my ephemera bits in and keys and stuff. I need probably a little bit of scrap paper, so let me find my... No, I probably don't need that one, but I've got some bits of scrap in here, I think. So I've got some book page. That's get a bigger bit of book page out. Uh, we've already got music sheets out. I've got some scraps of coffee dyed paper because we don't need a huge amount of scraps, but we've got some, so that will do. We'll move that one out of the way. And we've also got some music sheet from earlier, so let me just grab that. So we've got that, and then we've got some stamps and stickers and bits and ticket shape things that we can use. And then we've got the, the stickers that we can put somewhere. So, what did I do before I did... So I did a bit of collaging here, as you can see, and then a bit of collaging here. And I've used a bit of material there as well, and a butterfly there. So, uh, let's start, I think we may want to start with a flower. That's a bit big for there. Let's see what I've got. They're a bit big. I've got any smaller ones. That's a bit big too. Okay, sticker wise. What have we got? Let's have a Quick look. That's quite sweet, isn't it? Okay. Now I these I oh, they are so difficult for me to try and get off. I don't know about anyone else if they have issues with it. Have I even got it the right way? I have. Now, this took me <laughs> literally ages to try and do, and I kind of try, where's that pin, let's see if we get anywhere with the pin, Maybe that one. Grab the back of it. Oh, they're so nice, but there's just such a nightmare. Well, I find them a nightmare. I don't know if anyone else is just like, oh no, they're so easy. All you need to do is. Yes, and I know it took me ages to get these off last time. Oh, I might have to abandon it and come back to that. I am. I'm going to abandon that because it's just too much. Um, let's 
No, I don't think I want that there. So I'm gonna just use a bit of this paper. Just get some drawn edges going. And I'm going to grab my sponges so I can distress the edges with some ink. I actually think I want a brown one. Like I said before, I haven't got the um, Distress Oxide Walnut Stain, which I'm going to have to buy. And these are really, the only dark brown ones I've got is this Stamping Up ink pad so I mean like I've said before you can literally use whatever you have you haven't got to go and buy anything just use what you've got it doesn't make any difference I kind of like that it looks almost like that's been burnt mm. And when you ink the edges, it's just to make it stand out a little bit. Just that bit. And I think we need a bit of a... a number. Something there. And I think that goes really well. It's just a little something. Or oh, have we got something that's got a bit more colour to it? Let me have a look at my smaller bits here. Maybe we need something that's got a bit of colour in it. that one a bit big maybe or again I think we need something with a bit of colour there personally a bit more colour what have I got apart from making heat what about stamp my glue is on the way out. <laughs> what do you think? I think, yeah, I think I'm happy with that. And it just brings a little bit of colour that wasn't there before. Which is what you need, I think. Okay, no, I'm happy with that. So let's glue this down first. Let me get my glue. My glue seems happy again. So that's always good. And then, oh, this bit. Was it there? Somewhere there. Oh, 
I literally couldn't have just put the lid back on properly. That's probably why, since when the last time I used it. Because I love this bottle. Now this is a sticker. And we all know how I get on with stickers. So let's just try and get that off. Oh, it's coming. Why? There we go, look. Oh, oh I've lost it again. There we have it. There we are. So I'm just going to pop that. The right way up would help. I would have been a bit angry. So that's one side done. Now, what can we do with this side? So I've got some of these that I really like. That's a bit big, isn't it? That's a bit big. Now we need the smaller things. What we've got here. That's a, that's a bit big. I need something that's a bit... I kind of like that. With... Do we need oh, lead, lead on the glue? It is oh, I like that. This is sort of a vellum sticker That's a bit sainy as the other one, isn't it? I need... What I do in here? Let's have a look. So I've got some brown Amazon paper. Let me grab that. we could definitely use some of this we really need to be over this way don't I otherwise you're not seeing anything um, take that little bit off that with that no 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 um Hello guys, sorry, I'm back. My camera stopped filming, so I don't know what happened there. You haven't missed um, much. Basically, I took the opportunity of doing these stickers so that you didn't have the torment of watching me try and do it. So I've just added the stickers to those two little pockets there. So I haven't done anything else, as you can see. So, <clears throat> all I've done now is I've grabbed a bit of this little um, netting, lacy thing that I really like. And I do want to use some of this as well. So, let me cut some off. There we go. And... I'm wondering whether, there it 
is. Lost it. That could go there. With some book page. A little bit of netting. Do you know what? I'm thinking maybe a button would be nice there. Okay, let's glue this down. Well, let's ink it first, I think. So, just ink in here, just around the edges. You see, I'm using a makeup sponge, nothing fancy. And it hasn't got to be, you know, glued down all the way to the edges. I think it's kind of nice if it has the opportunity of curling up or something. It just adds to it, I think. So, let's go in there. We're going to ink this. And it hasn't got to be perfect. Glue on here. And I'm going to put that like that. Um, buttons. Where have I got my buttons? I've put them down somewhere. Of course, I have. And I don't know where I've put them. Are they in here? I think. Oh, I think they're in here. Let me grab some buttons. And I think we want a fairly big one, but I don't want white. Let's get that one out. That one out. Oh, look at that one. Have a look. Might be a bit. Let's see what we think. Do we like that? Or do we prefer the bigger button? Ooh. That's too small. And I don't know whether this is a bit big so let's just take a little bit of that off pop that do we need a bit of book page with yeah I think so I think we do I think we need a bit of book page so let's just ink that up put some glue on here Squidge some glue down because <laughs> kind of like that, and then I'm just going to put some bit more glue there. Oops, and then my button is going to go over that. 
glue will dry clear, you won't even see it. That's just be fine. And that's not going anywhere. I could almost oh, press that down a bit more. There you have it. So that is that side of it. So we've got that on there, that on there, and then it's the insides to do. And I, hmm, what can I put on the insides? Let's have a think that oh, let's put the lid on while we're having a think I do like this Amazon Paper. I think I do like it, I must admit, with music paper. That's the even the right way up. How can you tell? That's the right way up. Like that. And Too big. Yeah, I think that is. I think that's and it's too big for that bit. Uh, what else have we got over here? More that one's slightly big. That brings a bit of colour, doesn't it? I'm wondering whether we've got anything small in these cutouts. Oh. Let's move that out of the way. I, that's not bold enough so that I like and it's got a little sentiment on there think you of me today and I kind of like that I like the colour so yeah, I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to ink this up first. And you can see the difference when you've just done a bit of inking. It just makes everything stand out and pop, which is what you want. Let's get my glue. Pop that like that. And the 
just give this a little marinade up. And again, we'll get the glue on the back of that. And I am going to ink that as well, just slightly, because this has been cut out. So we want to try and eliminate any white uh, lines around the edges, if we can do. It's not the end of the world if you don't, but, you know, I think it just does make a little bit of a difference. I've no idea where these images come from. They were my, they are my mum's. She has been hoarding <laughs> things for absolutely years and years and years. And she's probably forgotten half the stuff that she actually has. And it was only when we went through, we were having a bit of a sort out. And we found so many lovely things. So I kind of stole them. <laughs> with her full knowledge. With her full knowledge. I wouldn't just uh, take stuff without asking. So we've got one more, one more to do. And I do want to use one of these tickets could be cut out better clearly didn't have glasses on that day when I was cutting this so oh, oh gosh that's not very good is it but we'll probably end up covering that up. But I'm thinking, I like that number. Um, you don't want. Uh, right way up. around this little because it's like a stamp image so if I cut around that oh, barely see it but I can use that and I can use the numbers as well. Like that's not straight. And I like, I like that a lot. So we're inking. Everything gets inked. And so it pops. I 
I have that underneath, don't I? Honestly. Sometimes I think I need to um, just take photos of everything because I can't really remember. I'm sure we had it like that. I hope I did. Bring it down a fraction. Take that on. And then we need this. Well, I hope everyone's okay and um, having a good week. Jubilee is coming up, and I'm. This is on work on thir Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and it's going to be manic. I know that, but I do know that uh, there's going to be a fly past um, of 70 planes I think at 12 o'clock over the palace um, including the red arrows I think there's going to be World War 2 planes and all sorts there but 70, 70 and for people that don't know I live in look up my fingers I live in Norfolk um, and of course I live in North Norfolk and not that far from the Sandringham estate and we looked it up and we found out that um, the planes this fly past of planes is actually starting out over the what it's called the wash which is the sea um the north sea near near to where i live and where i work so we are hoping on thursday when i'm at work that we'll be able to see them come in over the sea because we are right on the sea which is again lovely um, and so we're hoping they're going to be just sort of right above us um, because you know that is going to be a sight and you know I don't think we're going to really experience this again well I certainly aren't I'm going to experience it again in my lifetime you know how long she's been queen and this jubilee I'm not saying we won't see fly pass again but um, I think this lead needs a little something else oh I'm just my numbers are just Hmm. I'm not entirely happy with that one. But they say it should be in three. I just feel something missing here. That's what I am thinking. I hmm, does it need oh, I've got all of these. My mum made them. This is what I mean. That's too bright, but this one is nice if I can get to it. Do we like? Yeah, I 
sorry, I'm distracted. So, um, yeah, so work could be quite interesting on Thursday because obviously, you know, we'll stop what we're doing to uh, to watch it. That bit keeps rolling up, and I don't want that bit to roll up. It's doing my head in slightly. So let me find a piece. We'll take that bit off. This bit off. Ow! Cut your fingers off. That's not the best idea. Everything's too big. Mm, something isn't quite right, and I cannot for life me work that out. Let me take this bit off here. Maybe there's too much going on. It's like. Ooh. Goodness. Still rolling up. But I'm wondering whether or that. Do you know, I think I'm gonna go for that, but whether to go for a different colour one. Or a bigger one. This, one. this one's nice, isn't it? Do you know what? I really like that. I am going to put that on there. So, I've probably left the lid off this too long. Oh, it still works. It still points me. So, I'm just going to stick that there. Hold that down for a minute. That will have stuck. No, it hasn't. Let's have a look. Let's try it there. Maybe that was just in a bit of a awkward place. Yes, so, um, I don't know whether you guys are working or not working over the Jubilee. That'll do it for now. Um, that just needs holding on because this glue does stick fabric. But it's not sticking. Where is is now sticking to me to me but we will stick Not sticking so we will leave it like that I think look at the state of the desk of course and let's just hope that stays on there I'll rectify that in a minute but this is our completed um, pocket decorated and 
ready to be sewn into a journal and of course depending on the size of your book page you can make these however big you want and you know you can if you've got a smaller book page they might be um more longer and slimmer um depending on how you what the length of your book page is so like I say, they're really easy to do and decorate. They're all set now and you can make a ton of them and then decorate them when you know where they're going to be. So what journal you're putting them in, but just make the basics um, without decorating. And then you've got absolutely tons for um, when you do know what you're going to do with them. They're really easy to do. You're, you saw how easy they are to do so you know it takes more time to decorate it than it does to make which is always a good thing um and there they are well i hope everyone does have a marvelous um bank holiday and um if you're working i know how you feel if you're not have a fabulous time enjoy yourselves and hopefully the weather will be lovely thank you so much for joining me today i really um hope you like the video and if you do then please please give me a thumbs up or subscribe i really would appreciate it um i'm not sure when i can get videos out you may have heard me say before i do work i do have elderly parents to look after as well so um i try and fit it in when i can but you know hopefully I can do one a week at least that's what I'm trying to aim for but so any thumbs up or anything like that would be so much appreciated so take care everyone and see you soon bye bye